Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for Thursday, January 21st, 2021. So yesterday, the market celebrated big time, celebrated strong earnings reports, celebrated the inauguration of the 46th president of the United States, and we rallied strongly across the board, setting new records in the Diamond Spy, QQQ, and IWM all at the same time with um, everything just pushing and pushing and pushing higher. So what does that mean for today? Well, how about we settle in, buckle up, take a look at the technicals and see how we want to approach today's market with the Thursday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. So good morning once again, everyone, as we set up for today, how about we take a look at these technicals? Let's see what we've got going on here. Um, as you can see, we set new records yesterday, pushing strongly to the upside um, with a big bullish move. And we're stretching that a little bit further this morning. As you can see um, in this pre-market candle, we are trying to push up higher this morning. Our trends remain to the upside. We're holding price support levels in the chart, and we are very, very bullish. We have kind of a chorus right now going on from the big investment banks, Morgan Stanley, JP Morgan, um, Goldman Sachs, all singing together, suggesting that the market should go even higher. However, there are quite a few reports out there starting to show up that believe the market is um, in a very euphoric bubble. Now, I can't tell you which one is right on that. What I will tell you is that we're going to have to be a little bit careful not to chase overly extended stocks and be wise to the fact of how far, um, how, mu how much pain could be created with just a, um, a simple pullback. These candles in here look like very little, very, tiny little candles but just keep in mind let's let's just take for example i'm going to go to the dow and let's just measure from yesterday's close down to our last swing low so get right in here down to our last swing low and realize just to pull back to that low is a 567 point pullback so keep in mind, if the market does stumble at any point in time, if we do um, show signs of popping this bubble in any way, shape or form, that these pullbacks could be pretty substantial. So you wanna be careful not to overtrade or be chasing already extended stocks. And then just keep in mind, if we were to pull back just to this bigger level of price support in the chart, we're looking at 850 points. So I want to remind everyone as we continue to stretch to the upside to be really, really careful that we're not uh, chasing overly extended stocks or over trading because it can be pretty painful if those sell-offs do begin. Can't say that they will, just suggesting that everyone needs to be planning very carefully and be careful not to chase. Let's take a look at our moving averages. If we take a look at our moving averages, you can see we're pretty substantially separated from that 50 day moving average. And it's very, very common that the market will eventually pull back and test that 50 day moving average. But one thing that's been good about what's happened is we've largely consolidated this and notice that that has really helped in bringing that 50 day moving average up closer. Although a pullback to that 50 day moving average would be a pretty darn painful pullback. Notice it, uh, it's about three and a half percent um, in the Dow, over a thousand points um, in the Dow itself. That would be kind of a painful pullback, but it's a lot better than what we have seen here lately. So the more we consolidate here, the better that is. And perhaps we can do that. Also keep in mind that our 200 day moving average is finally starting to turn to the upside here, moving up. And um, that's a good sign. We've been flat in that 200 day moving average for so long, showing this amazing extension to the upside. Let's take a look at um, the SPY. SPY very much the same, new record highs yesterday yesterday, once again, trying to push a little bit higher this morning ahead of a lot of data today. Our trend remains very strong. 
we're holding above price support levels in the chart just keep in mind once again if we do find a few sellers if those bears decide to go to work one of these days that there could be some painful sell-offs so make sure you're buying stocks at or near price supports rather than at or near price resistance levels or in very extended conditions let's take a look at the nasdaq nasdaq also nasdaq just had a huge day yesterday with those big earnings results from um netflix all of the for some reason there was just a major surge into the giant techs yesterday microsoft um, um apple um they they all just had a really good google had a tremendous day yesterday just pushing um really really hard to the upside so we soared here in the nasdaq that tech sector has been showing a kind of some weakness and all of a sudden they just roared back yesterday um, moving substantially higher now one thing I would suggest is as we push up and really extend this this is um, once again beginning to point to a bit of a stretched out condition and that possibility that any selling could be rather painful so watch that closely if we do happen to turn back down notice we're trying to gap a little bit higher this morning as well moving on up in that NASDAQ so as we continue to stretch out setting these new records just remember what goes up will come down eventually and you don't want to be the last guy buying um, stocks when that begins to happen particularly um, stocks that are already extended in their move let's take a look at IWM now IWM has enjoyed an amazing rally and I keep pointing this out how parabolic this chart appears and how much longer we can continue this I don't know but what I will say as long as we continue to show financials showing substantial strength and those energy sector stocks showing substantial strength uh, strength this trend is likely to continue so keep a close eye on that we're holding up very very well continuing to stretch out and once again new record highs yesterday in IWM and we're trying to stretch that further this morning let's take a look at the VIX now the VIX finally made a pretty decent move yesterday to the downside showing that some of that fear is beginning to subside here. We still haven't broke down below this price support here in the VIX and we still remain above a 20 handle in the VIX. It's, it's honestly unbelievable to me that we can continue to set these new record highs with a VIX this elevated. That just shows us the potential danger if some selling does come in. So make sure you're prepared for that possibility. Stay with the trend long as long as that trend continues to uh, be there. But make sure you're not chasing or overextending yourself because I've seen this many times before where um, all of a sudden the market just shifts and everything that was once good is now bad and there's a lot of pain that can occur if you are overextended in um, the market so kind of keep that in mind what i really want to see here in the vix is i want to see the vix breaking down this level of support getting down here below these 20 handles and really starting to show that fear has truly dropped out of this market so far, we haven't been able to show that, and that is a little bit of a concern here. Um, the next thing I want to show you is T2122. It's the four-week new high, new low ratio, and T2122 is once again, it's up here telling us or, or warning us that we are in that extended condition, and we have stayed here for a remarkable period of time. I can't say that I've ever seen. now. I have to say that um, I did not follow the T2122 indicator. In fact, I don't think it was available back in the, the, the 1999 market bubble. But we have seen periods prior to that where we've existed up here for a period of time. You can see we um, stay up here for a period of time. Um, I have not seen a period of time where we have remained this stretched for this long. 
So we want to watch this pretty closely and just realize that we do run the risk. If we stumble in any way, shape, or form in the market, we can move pretty quickly and never, ever forget. Remember, it wasn't that many days ago where we had a 600-point sell-off and how painful that was for a lot of folks when we just quickly reversed. So watch that closely. We have more upside potential. We're going to stretch this a little bit more this morning, it looks like, at the open. But just keep in mind, we have a very big open door to the downside if we decide to slip or profit starts, profit takers start coming in. So watch that close. Let's take a look at T2101. Whoops. The T2101 is still providing a little bit of concern here. Notice that our absolute market breadth continues to decline. So we had this big surge yesterday and it was largely supported by re those big tech giants pushing the markets. But kind of keep a close eye on this as we continue to diminish in this market breadth. Um, that could be one of those signals that we are close or could be nearing that place where some profit taking comes in. So just, just kind of keep that in mind and be prepared. Let's take a look at our economic calendar for today. And our economic calendar has a quite a bit going on. Um, we've had a light week so far, with, except for the political news. We've had a relatively light week. But as you can see, today we're going to step that up. We're going to have housing starts here before the market open. We're going to have jobless claims. And remember, we've stumbled a couple of times on these jobless claims. We've largely ignored them. Um, doesn't seem to matter right now if people are unemployed. But we've largely ignored them. Um, we'll see if that continues to be the case today or if we happen to have a, a more of a positive number today. So watch those closely. And then we've got the Philly Fed. All of these are potential market moving events. So watch that carefully. We also have the Fed balance sheet later on today. And as I keep repeating over and over, we know that they have trillions and trillions in debt now that they have piled up, but nobody seems to care as long as we can keep forcing the market higher with freshly printed money. That's what we want to do. So keep an eye on this um, as we um, get to these reports prior to the market open. It could change everything pretty quickly. Um, it could get much, much more bullish or we could falter a little bit. Um, as well. Let's take a look at our earnings calendar today. And our earnings calendar is kind of a busy one today. What I want to suggest everyone do is I'm going to go through some of the stocks um, that will be reporting today. But what I'd like everyone to remember is if you click the link directly under the um, uh, title of this video, it'll take you back to my morning blog where I list what I believe to be the notable stocks reporting today that have the potential to move the market. So um, make sure you check that out because um, we're reaching that point where I can't cover them all in uh, the morning prep video. Um, one that we'll want to be keeping an eye on this afternoon is Intel. Intel will be reporting this afternoon. Notice it's been trying to recover. Um, remember, Intel's got some challenges here where Apple has stopped using their chips and different things going on here. Um, now, Intel did start a pretty substantial buyback program uh, to try and help um, elevate the stock. But keep in mind, we have a big gap here uh, to the downside, depending on how that reports. We would want to see that drop down into there. And as we really recover here in this chart, a good earnings report could start to test some of these resistance levels up here in the chart. So keep an eye on Intel. It could be very telling as far as the tech sector. So keep an eye on that. We're also going to see some railroads reporting today, um, CSX will be reporting today. Keep an eye on that. We'll hear um, from IBM. IBM, I've been mentioning this in the morning prep video here recently as a potential watch list stock. And the reason is, is because this has been testing this resistance right here in the chart. And we're working on this uh, 
um, attempting to move through that downtrend. It'll be interesting when this reports today to see if it can hold this level, if IBM can return to profitability um, and start showing um, some bullish signs here or if we fail at this resistance. So keep an eye on IBM. Could be an interesting report um, today as well. Um, let's take a look at, um, we've got some big banks. Uh, Fifth Third Bank is reporting today. Um, we've got MTB reporting today. We've got Key Bank reporting today. Um, we'll also hear from, on the railroad side, we'll hear from um, Union Pacific. And we have Seagate reporting today. So keep an eye on these stocks. We're going to have quite a few reports. And remember, all of these have that potential to uh, move the market just a bit. Even though we're kind of all focused on, the market just seems to be um, laser focused on the hopefulness of more money, money printing um, here in the near future, more stimulus to the market. So who knows, maybe none of this matters anymore. We certainly haven't paid attention to jobs, um, the slowing economy, the retail sales falling. Um, everything has just been, you know, um, hope on more and more stimulus and more and more money being printed. So possibly these won't be as move, market moving as they typically are, but let's just make sure that we stay focused on these. And remember, as we um, are in this earnings season, you're always going to want to make sure to check those earnings reporting dates on the stocks before before you make a decision to buy or sell a security. Make sure you know when that's going to report. Make sure it complies with your rules on how you trade around those earnings events. Let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up. But before we do that, guys, if you could do me a quick favor, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, if you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube and also click that bell icon when it pops up so that you'll be notified every time I post one of these videos. Remember, I do the morning prep video every day as, um, um, part of my trading, um, honestly, um, it has helped me in balancing myself against the hype and drama that you see in the market so that I am prepared for the market day. And if you guys find that to be helpful, please do me a favor and click that thumbs up button and also click uh, to leave a brief comment it helps us continue to grow. Thank you so much for everyone who does do that. And also please feel free to share these videos out there on any of your social media feed. Also keep in mind that on our channel, I do an awful lot of public education. So if you're struggling as a trader, make sure you check out those videos and, um, um, see if there's some things in there that could help you. I try to be as honest and open and direct as I can be. Um, and uh, it's coming from a real trader uh, trying to make um, a living or making a living for 15 years doing this full time. So take it for what it's worth. Let's take a uh, peek at some stocks that are setting up. Now you guys know I do a lot of um, technical analysis, reading of price action, and there's some stocks that continue to shine here in the market. Take a look at XLE. XLE Energy has been very, very strong here recently. A beautiful upside trend. And I've turned this entire line into a potential alert. And as you can see, as we're testing this price resistance in the chart, notice that XLE is just doing this nice little consolidation in here. So I'm watching for that next opportunity. If this can pop in here as we slide over toward the trend, looking for that next opportunity to catch an entry into that trade. I also want to make mention that this has been in a long downtrend. We could, even after we pop through here, rally right into that resistance. So keep that in mind. Um, there's still more challenges to come here in that energy sector. Um, take a look at NKLA. NKLA is something I've been keeping an eye on and um, watching this pretty closely. This has been in a nice upside little trend here and it's also in a pattern that we call the rounded bottom breakout where we break above that 50-day moving average 
We're trying to hold that area of support. Notice the longer we consolidate here, the better evidence we have of that moving average squeeze coming into play. So I'm watching that carefully. And as you can see, I've set a price alert right here on that chart. And I'm watching for that possibility that that could pop right into this area and maybe extend on up. And I would be looking for an upside target around the 200 day moving average here. So keep an eye on NKLA. Take a look at CGC. Now CGC has been in a powerful upside move as well as other cannabis stocks, very, very strong. And as you can see, moving up nicely in this pattern. I've been watching this pretty closely. Now I can't tell you if we're gonna slide this trend a little bit further um, out here to the right, but I like this nice tight consolidation. So I've alerted on this chart. Um, remember the Biden administration is talking about legalizing cannabis. So we want to keep an eye on this. If that were to pop in here, I might want to be taking um, an upside uh, potential move in that chart. Um, take a look at um, APA. APA also Apache Energy, very strong uh, move to the upside, broke through a major resistance level. Notice we're consolidating that level in here. And I would be watching this for that next upside opportunity to stretch this out. Keep that in mind. It's looking very, very good overall as a chart. Um, we also have charts like Valero Energy holding up very, very strong pushing against a resistance level. We need that little bit of bullishness to drive it on through, but pretty interesting charts. Also, take a quick look at some of the retail stocks out there. Some of these retail stocks setting up in nice patterns. You can see I've alerted on this chart. So we consolidate this move. We've broken the downtrend, trying to show some bullishness here. Watch for that to maybe pop through. Take a look at um, Macy's. Macy's has been moving up in a strong move, had a nice little resting pullback here to test support. If that can show some bullishness in here, that might move on up. Up. We see UAA also showing strength, uh, pushing into some more resistance in the chart. But UAA, this is my last alert on that, uh, moving up nice and strong into that chart. And if we happen to pop on through this little level of resistance, notice there's some good upside that could be made here in UAA. So lots of charts out there doing very, very well. We'll want to keep an eye on those closely because um, the trend remains bullish and we want to stay with the trend. Remember not to chase overextended stocks. Make sure you're buying those stocks at or near price support, looking for those price entries in places like this rather than chasing them that are already up several days in a row where we could catch that pullback and a painful losses to your um, stop loss. So watch those carefully. With that, everyone, I want to wish you all a fantastic day. I want to wish you great profits in your trading. Take care of yourself. Be safe. And we'll see you right back here, bright and early Friday morning. Have a great day.